Hello everyone, my name is Riku Zuman and in this quick video I'm going to show you how we can set logging behavior in Amazon Connect. So Amazon Connect logging behavior help us to identify the errors in our contact center. Okay, so I will show you how we can enable this logging behavior functionality in Amazon Connect. So there are some steps which I have listed here you can follow to set your logging behavior. The first step is we need to enable contact flow logs in our con Connect instance and we also have to use a block uh, set logging behavior blocks in our contact flow this is the second step and to watch our logs we need to go to cloud watch through amazon console and we will go to cloud watch and we will see our amazon connect logs under uh, log group sections okay and then we will use some uh, links of our contact in cloud watch and we will see all the streams log stream there and we will check our event list and we can filter our events there so let's just uh, practically do that and uh, we will see how we can uh, do that okay so uh, first of all uh, we need to search for our amazon connect service Okay, uh, here it is. So let me just go to Amazon Connect service, and then there we will enable our uh, login behavior. Uh, okay, it's I'm just going to open. All right, great. So as you can see, when you will uh, go to your Amazon Connect service uh, through Amazon console, you will find there all your instance instances listed here. So uh, as for now, uh, I have created two Amazon uh, Connect instances. Uh, one is one PV6, another is uh, the contact center. So I'm just working on one PV6 contact center. So uh, we just need to click on the URL, access URL, to enable the logging behavior for our contact instance. So just click on this hyperlink, and it will leads you to the next page where you have to sign in. Okay. Uh, so here in this uh, uh, Amazon Connect dashboard, we will say we will use our contact flow and we will use a blocks to enable. So before that, what I need to show you that you must click on this uh, alias, uh, your contact center alias name, and then you will redirect it to this page. And here you go to contact flows. Okay. So this is the first step that you need to enable. As you can see here we need to enable contact flow logs and where we will enable this we will just click on our alias of our contacts uh, amazon connect and then we will be redirected to this page and in this page you need to click on contact flows and then we will enable our logging behavior so as you can see contact flow logs so i have already marked this box check so that my all uh, logs of amazon connect will be uh, shown in cloud watch so I have make it uh, check so that our uh, logs will be streamed to cloud watch so make sure that you are uh, you have make this checkbox okay tick so that your logs will be enabled so th this is the first step and the second step is you need to if you are building your contact center you must have a contact flow so go to contact flow and make sure that you are using set logging behavior block so let me just go to my contact flow this is the contact flow which i have created for my company uh, okay so this is the contact flow so before going to use any other block for your methodology or mechanism you need to set this block set logging behavior so where we can find that we can find this block under the set sections so, uh, so it is here yeah set logging behavior so we need to pick that block and we will drag and drop here and we can use it so guys uh, we must have to set this block in our contact flow so let me just open this block and you need to enable this so this is the second step as you I have told you the first step is enable your connect flow log okay so we have enabled that here okay in this page and then we need to set a uh, block 
contact flow block and in this uh, block we need to enable it so when we have enabled this block so as you can see you can see here when logging is enabled data for each block in your contract flow is sent to amazon cloud watch logs so when we have we are using this block it means we are sending each and every uh, log matrix of all these blocks to cloudwatch okay so now we can see our uh, logs there in cloudwatch so what is the next step so next step is we need to go to cloudwatch and we need to go to the log section so we can see our all logs there so let's just go to amazon home page and let's search for cloudwatch watch and we will see our logs there okay okay here it is it's redirected okay so now uh, we have enabled our logging behavior in amazon connect and i am already using my uh, contact center uh, so uh, that's why I, ha I may have some logs in this cloud watch so let's uh, let me show you uh, where our logs will be okay in cloud watch so we need to go to uh, see our cloud uh, our amazon connect logs we need to go to the log section and we need to click on log groups okay so here we will find our uh, logs uh, of amazon connect so it's loading yeah okay so as uh, as you know that i have two instances of amazon connect so i am working on one pv6 instance so i will click on this uh, link uh, forward slash aws forward slash connect and forward slash 1pv6 is the name of my contact center so i will click on it and here i can see my log streams okay so when we have enabled our as you can see here i have enabled a set logging behavior it means that every log is streamed to cloudwatch so here we can see all our log uh, log streams here easily got it so uh, if we want to uh, select the log group hyperlink of your instance so we need to click on uh, in these links to get some more insights from our logs okay so select set the log stream okay and uh, here as you can see that i have just clicked on one stream and i am getting all the details in the json for uh, sorry yes in the json format uh, so uh, I have a contact ID okay so I have all the information of my uh, my contact flow here and all logs are being directed to cloudwatch so this is how our contact center is monitored by cloudwatch so in the next videos I will show you how we can make it more useful so we can get some insights from our cloud uh, contact center so that we can uh, we can uh, encounter our errors and we can uh, resolve them thank you